in this final investigation for problem 3.4, investigation 3, we want to now use the Pythagorean theorem to prove whether a triangle is a right triangle or not. So the idea is that if I can actually use these three numbers, 3 squared plus 4 squared, if that equals 5 squared, then this has to be a right triangle. And so we can do that. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. And so 9 plus 16 does equal 25. So the answer is yes, this is a right triangle. It has to be, according to the Pythagorean theorem, if we can do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, if we have these three side lengths, 5, 12, and 13, and I said 5 squared plus 12 squared, does that equal 13 squared? And so if we do our calculations, 25 plus 144, the question is, does that equal 169? 25 plus 144 does equal 169. So again, the answer is yes. It, it has to be, it is a right triangle. It would make, if we were to actually build it, it would have a right angle in it. This becomes very helpful when people are trying to make square corners in buildings or any kind of construction, because if we want to know something actually has a square corner, a right angle, we can use these kinds of measurements with the Pythagorean theorem. So again, we have another one, 5 squared plus 6 squared. Does that equal 10 squared? And so that would be 25 plus 36. And I don't think that equals 100. So this one is not a right triangle. So again, you can see that you can't just take any pair of numbers and make them work. This would not, if I were to try to build it, it would not be a right triangle. So if we try another one, 6, 8, and 10. So 6 squared plus 8 squared, does that equal 10 squared? So that would be 36 plus 64, and that does equal 100, so yes, it's a right triangle. Now the next one's interesting because all three side lengths are the same. And so this is an interesting question of whether or not a triangle with three sides the same length could be a right triangle. And so we can prove it. 4 squared plus 4 squared. Does that equal 4 squared? And I think it might be kind of obvious that that can't work because you'd have 16 plus 16 equaling 16. And that can't be true, so we know that if all three sides are the same length, we do not have a right triangle. Well, how about in this case where two of them are the same length? And sometimes that might be true and sometimes it might not be. Let's see, if in this case it is 1 squared plus 2 squared equaling 2 squared. And it looks like 1 plus 4 does not equal 4, and so this one also is not a right triangle. So the idea now is that we should be able to determine whether or not three lengths, three numbers, will actually make a right triangle. So a couple more here that we can try out. 12 squared plus 16 squared does that equal 20 squared? So I have to know what some of these are. 12 squared is 144, and 16 squared is 196. And the question is, does that equal 400, which is what 20 squared is? And so I think you can see, just even without calculating this out, you'd have about 340 between these two, and that does not equal. So these would not make a right triangle. And so again, try a couple more. 8 squared plus 15 squared. And the question is, is that equal 17 squared? And so we know 64 plus 
225, which is 15 squared. And the question is, does that equal 289? So 64 plus 225 does equal 289. And so this would be a right triangle. So we have a yes and no. And then one more. 12 squared plus 9 squared. Does that equal 16 squared? So 144 plus 81. Does that equal 196? And you can see that this is definitely more than 200, so the answer here would be no. So now we have a tool with the Pythagorean theorem to not only find lengths, but to prove whether or not triangles that are created are right triangles or not. And so lots of uses for the Pythagorean theorem in the real world.